Hi, I'm Farima, and today on Handmade, we're gonna shack. <laughs> I just look at her like, are you gonna make me say that? Nothing says 70s like a good shag rug. Today we're gonna pick up that outdated trend off the floor and we're gonna turn it into an adorable shag pillow using a latch hook technique. So let's get started. To make the latch hook panel, you will need yarn. I went with a 70s color palette. A hook rug canvas, a latch hook needle, and scissors. For latch hooking, you will need a lot of small pieces of yarn. I'm using a gift card because it will keep all my lengths consistent. So you just wrap and cut at the top edge and bottom edge. I also decided to add some pink. You'll notice the canvas has blue lines as a guide. I'm going to make my pillow five squares by five squares. Cut one line outside of the blue line. This is a latch hook needle. It has a gate that opens and closes that prevents the hook from getting stuck on the canvas. Insert the needle into the canvas past the gate. Hook two pieces of yarn onto the needle and pull the yarn halfway through the canvas. Next, push the needle up again and hook the tails, pulling back through the loop to form a knot. Okay guys, I'm not going to lie, this project takes a while. It's not a one Fixer Upper episode type of project, it's a whole season of Fixer Upper. But it is so easy, and if you love a project that you can just zone out to and relax, this is the project for you. Lucky for you, a whole team of us have put in some work. I have a nearly finished one right here. We're just gonna finish up the last two squares and sew it onto the pillow. All right, we did it. The latch hook part is finished, and all we have to do is sew it onto the pillowcase. I'm going to center this up on a neutral pillowcase. Pin it to hold it in place. Use an embroidery needle and floss to stitch it onto the pillow. Tie it up. And remove the pin. You guys, I totally dig this. We definitely took Shag to the next level. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below, give us a like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.